They're hearing my voice. I'm a diagnosed narcissist and I use my platform to raise awareness for NPD, get more people into therapy, and they also validate the victims, survivors, and thrivers of said disorder and said traits and things like that. Today's episode is going to be about how narcissistic people, a lot of us, lack identity. So when we go for the new supply, we actually become the old supply. Woo, deep, deep, deep. Sometimes the narcissist takes you into their new relationship. They become you in their new relationship. A lot of people understand this dynamic right here, y'all. Narci a lot of narcissists mirror you in the beginning of a relationship. At the beginning of a relationship with you, typically they're mirroring you. They're giving you back what you're giving them. Hey, you like this? Oh, I like that too. Hey, we wanna do this? Oh, I wanna do that too. You're, they're mirroring you. But sometimes the, the mirror, they, you know, just like any mirror in the world, it's not going to be exact. The mirrors reflecting back are not going to be give you an exact mirror image, just like, like a circus mirror. Sometimes the mirrors are going to be distorted and things like that. So to make up for that lack, narcissists have to fill in the spaces to make it seem the same. So guess what? To make it seem like they're interesting or different. So guess what we do? We take things that we learned from the old relationship partner and give it to the new person. Boom. We bring stuff from our old relationship to you. The old uh, other person's likes and especially especially if you similar if you're similar to my ex oh 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 easy peasy y'all have the same oh good I'm taking I'm pretty much bringing my ex into the relationship with us I act like I'm acting like them I've done this before I picked up on I was thinking about this earlier I picked up my personality traits from my from my because you know narcissist mirror and I tell this to people all the time that. The person that you see in front of you right now is just an accumulation of all the personality characteristics in other people that I've either been jealous of or I've or or I've admired. You know what I mean? So when I'm telling people this and you know going going across this and doing this stuff right here, I tell people all the time, I'm just an accumulation of other people, including my ex. Mm -hmm. The stuff I like from my ex, I became in the new relationship. So they had to fill in the gaps. They had to fill in the spaces because the reflection is incomplete. <laughs> Who are we? And you probably see it all the time too. You probably see it all the time. If you if you have on, I call it y'all know, I call it the narcissist TV. You mean I'm gonna I'm gonna do a skit called I mean, I'm gonna do a video called the narcissist TV. I have to write this down real quick. Y'all gotta bear with me. Y'all gotta bear with me. And y'all, thank y'all so much for the positive reviews on uh on Apple Music and Spotify and stuff like that. If y'all uh, listen to this on podcast version, hit that five stars for me. If you're on YouTube, hit the thumbs up. Facebook, thumbs up. Like it, heart it, comment. Thank you. Um, but I'm pretty sure I appreciate every single one of y'all. But I've done this before. Like, if you are, like I say, if you have on the Narcissist TV where you're watching how they treat the new supply and things like that, you're watching how they're doing this, you're watching how they're doing that, I tell people to turn it off because sometimes they'll start doing things that you want them to do. Because we don't know, we lack identity sometimes. A lot of times, we lack, we lack our own self-identity. So you know what, I was like, dang, what can I do to make this person happy? Oh, my ex wanted to do this. So let me see, let me surprise them. Let me surprise them with what I didn't do for my ex that they wanted. Boom. Oh, you want to take a trip to go do this? Boom, we did it. And then guess who's guess who's watching? You. Because sometimes narcissists live their life like their exes are watching. There's like this paranoia feeling. I still do it to this day. To this day. To this day. I don't know, it's weird, y'all. Believe you're married. You need to stop that. You cheat on your wife. You uh, no, I'm not. <sighs> deeper than that guys it's deeper um <laughs> but seriously they mirror you in the next relationship and then they also they take the, the pieces of the mirror from you they take the pieces of you put it onto ourselves and mirror reflect this back to the fill in the gaps of the new mirror the new person the new supply oh they start they they wore i had, I had a friend tell me like they used they were jogging like they never wore athletic shorts with me or any kind of comfortable casual stuff with me they were always suited and booted when we go out and stuff like that they could they could never be caught out in public in shorts and sandals and stuff like that i saw them in public the other day guess what they had on shorts and sandals because the uh, the new supply is a uh, works at a short and sandal store so it was something like that <laughs> not a short and sandals it was like a forever it was something yeah but he literally just became her and the old supply, the ex, saw it. The ex-girlfriend saw him doing this with the new girlfriend. Like, that is weird. And they, they had only been broken up like a couple months. So he, you, your personalities don't change that much over a couple months, y'all. He was marrying the other person and giving them what the other person wanted. I wanted them to be more relaxed, more, be more comfortable. So sometimes they do become you in the new relationship. And like I say, it's, it's extremely easy. It's also easier. This is why sometimes it works too. If they move on to one of your friends or family members or whatever, somebody that already knows them, 
it's weird, but they will start to act like you in that relationship too. And it's easier because they compare and contrast stuff as well. So not all the time, this is another point, y'all. So not only do they bring you, the ex, into the new relationship with the new supply, they also bring along, you know, they bring along some other things as well. They bring, they bring, no, they bring along you in not just a good way to mirror back and reflect to the other person. They bring it along sometimes to triangulate the other person against you. Narcissists don't always bash their exes. A lot of them do. All my exes were crazy. That's one of the most common things you hear. All my exes are crazy. You know, a lot of them do bash their exes, but some more covert manipulative narcissists praise their exes in front of the new supply. My ex was great at doing this right here. My ex was, you know, she had this little cheek clapping position and she would just, you know, do all kinds of craziness. So guess what? If you like me, if you think I'm a high commodity or whatever, you think I'm a rarity, guess what? You're going to start doing things to compete with the other person. You're going to start doing things to compete with the ex you never met. You can't confirm or deny the stuff that I'm saying, but you start competing against the person you've never met before. And sometimes their competition can make you like, not like the other person you've never met before. It can make, especially if, their kids, if there's kids involved with the ex, you know, y'all don't meet each other. Like, when do I get to meet your ex? Oh, oh, they hate you. They don't want to meet you. What? How do they hate me if they don't know me? When do I get to meet your new, when do I get to meet, we get to meet your new boo? Oh, they hate you. They don't want to meet you. Why do they hate, they never met me. How do they hate me? What are you telling them to make them feel like they hate me? Hate is a strong ass word. It's not, not one of the little baby words you toss around. Hate, hate, hate. So sometimes they can use your, sometimes, or they can lie as well, but sometimes they can use your good personality tricks, your, your good personality tricks or your qualities or whatever, and just say, just mention them to the new supply, to get the new supply to compete with you, to try harder, to get them to, to manipulate the new supply into doing the things that they want you to do. Look at how they want them to look. That's why sometimes you go, oh, the new, oh, I saw the new supply. They cut their hair just like mine. They got a haircut just like mine. They dress just like me. Same shoes, same store. Look, buy my cologne, every, buy my perfume, buy everything that you used to be. They trying to make the new supply into. It's just like they're trying to recreate a different version of you. You, the uh, old, the new supply ends up being old supply or X 2.0. 1.5, 1.25, I know what y'all are gonna say, but the new supply, 1.25 and 2.0 are upgrades, Lee, and they didn't like, they're not upgrade on me. They did not upgrade on me. I'm version one, I'm, if anything, I'm version 2.0. They made they made a rudimentary version, they made the wish version of me. I'm Walmart, they wish. I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm Amazon, they wish. You know, I'm Shein, they wish, and stuff like that. So they can't use that type of stuff to mirror the back on. Mirroring y'all, mirror, 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 mirror on the wall. Who's the greatest narcissist of them all? If y'all were to say anything other than Lee Hammock, not to see y'all, not to see. <laughs> but anyways, y'all, I'm gonna cut this thing so I don't wanna ramble on. Thank you for tuning in.